One of my favorite places to look for insects is inside rotting logs. Now you might think there's not a lot there, but with some tips and techniques and the right tools, you'll be able to find a wide variety of these special treasures. So I'm going to go ahead and start chopping into this log. I know this is a good log because if you listen to that sound, I'll get closer with my microphone. You can hear it's kind of hollow and you can tell it's not hard. What you do not want is hardwood like this over here. See this wood? You can hear that that's extra hard. That extra hard wood is not going to have hardly any insects in it. What you want is this really hollow stuff. And inside of here, we're gonna find all sorts of larvae and all sorts of different types of insects. So what I actually have for a tool here today is I have a hammer, and this is even just a small hammer, so you could get just about any hammer and use that to be able to accomplish this task. If you want some nicer tools, you could use like a wonder bar, is what I've heard them called, or like a crow's foot, um, or even use a crowbar, a big one, if you wanted to get some really good leverage. But in reality, I feel like you don't even need that good of tools. You just have to find the right type of wood and you have to have lots of patience to be able to find insects. So I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping into here and let's see if we can find anything interesting and we'll see what we can find. I like to, so what I like to do here is I like to get a nice good hit in and then I like to peel it back in a way and see what I can find. So if you look right here, actually, I've stumbled across one of the most common um, wood dwelling insects that you're ever gonna find. Now this here is a termite soldier. You can tell it's a soldier because it has those extra big jaws and its head's a little bit different from the others. The others. So this is what a worker looks like right here. Termites are commonly found in moist wood. They're an essential part of the environment because they actually help break down the rotting logs. And an interesting thing about them is that they're able to feed on the wood because of the help of bacteria that are inside their stomachs. And these bacteria allow them to break down cellulose, which is the main component of wood. If you do plan on adding termites to your collection, make sure and collect either soldiers or allites, which are the ones with the wings. Identifying termite workers is very difficult and professionals suggest collecting the other casts. If you're planning on adding them to your collection, you're going to have to put them in alcohol and you'll want to watch this video that just popped up on the screen so that you can find out how to properly preserve them. Termites are mostly blind and use chemicals primarily to communicate with one another. And also when you're ripping off the wood, look at both sides on this side of the piece, there's a spider. You can also find scorpions too, which I've found quite often in rotting logs, so make sure and be really careful. Today I didn't have any on, but I typically will use gloves when I'm digging around in logs, just in case I run across a scorpion or some spiders or something that could be venomous. Now, if you're in a rotting log and you run into ants like I did just now, then it's best to just pick another area of the log to work on. Ants are notorious predators and they're usually going to kill off most other insects in whatever area they're in, so they could also sting you or bite you, so you want to be careful as well. And this will be the last shot of the termites, I promise I'm going to show you because there's just so many of them. And if you go chopping into rotting logs and you're in the right uh, areas, you're going to just be finding these things all over the place. So when you're out collecting, you aren't just going to find insects. You can find all sorts of other organisms too, like this mysterious slime mold, which can actually move very slowly. And look here, oh, we found a cockroach. And cockroaches like these live in wood too. Um, a nice thing about working with wood is that insects that live here usually don't fly, so they don't get away as often. The only problem is that they will usually go deeper into the wood, so you have to keep after them and be quick. I also just want to mention that most roaches like these species are harmless to humans and actually help out in the environment by recycling nutrients by feeding on rotting plants or animals. I'm sure everyone who has ever picked up a rock and looked under it 
has seen what I like to call a roly-poly, and these are actually not insects, they're crustaceans, so we're not going to worry about them for collections, and I'm just going to put him back. Sometimes when you're chopping into a log, you might damage an insect just by chance. I have found with my experience that this rarely happens, unless of course you are a termite and there are 5,000 of you clustered together in a small area, like here. So I've moved on to another log, and in this log I found a funny looking caterpillar. And some caterpillars like this dead wood borer moth caterpillar actually feed um, in wood but these guys are actually feeding on fungi that is growing in the rotting wood so they're not actually feeding on the wood like the termites are. So later on, um, I came across this strange looking larvae, um, which is actually a young best beetle. And I'm really excited about this because best beetles are just awesome. They're the best, um, but they're actually called best beetles, B-E-S-S. -S. Um, but anyways, uh, so there you go. Um, I kept looking around and digging through the log nearby to see if I could find an adult. Um, I'm gonna keep digging because I really wanna find an adult and they're pretty cool. So we just got an adult best beetle too, which are awesome for a collection, or they can be a really fun pet to raise. This one I'm gonna raise in the lab um, to share with fellow insect enthusiasts and insect hunters at school. So I'll be taking this guy around with me for a while. So as you can see, in less than an hour, we found a lot of cool things. So while out collecting in logs, you can find a lot of stuff. To finish off this episode, I'm going to show you some other things I have found while out collecting to give you an idea of what types of things you could find. One insect you might commonly find are zoferid beetles, which are also called ironclad beetles. And these types of beetles are said to have some of the toughest exoskeletons of all insects. And I personally just think they look really neat, they're kind of like tanks. I've also ran into mice before too. These guys, I have to admit, uh, were pretty cute. Where there are insects, there are bound to be animals that feed on them. This lizard was found in a huge rotting tree trunk. Even though our encounter was brief, it was quite enjoyable. Last of all, I had to show you my rotting log insect diamond that I found last year. This is a scarab beetle larvae, perhaps of a goliath beetle or something similar. The day I found this thing, I honestly had to stop and breathe for a moment because I was so shocked to find it. I couldn't believe that here in Texas I could find a larvae so big. Wow. This thing was huge and it was bigger than my thumb. It took me quite a while to get used to holding this guy because I was so afraid of those big jaws because this thing is just a huge insect larvae. These things actually feed on rotting logs uh, too as you can see from their feces. It goes to prove that even in rotting logs you can find exciting and amazing insect treasures just like this one. Thanks for coming along the journey with us. Here are some recommended videos for fellow insect hunters like you. Please comment and ask questions below and subscribe to stay tuned for all things insects.